chapter the 10th verse, if we can get that real quick. But the Lord is going to deliver us from, from those, those trials, you know? See, we're not immune to it, but our only hope is that we're going to be delivered from it. But you guys that don't get involved in it, don't want to know about it, you don't, uh, I don't want to know about that, uh, you guys are paranoid, you guys are this, you got all kind of excuses why you shouldn't learn about it, you're going to get caught up in it. You guys are fear mongers. Uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. What is the hour of temptation? That chip. And two-thirds of you jakes, you're going to be tempted to take it, and you're going to well, take the, it. The whole agenda is to create a one-world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID that chip. That chip connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do, what Everything. You sell. Everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one-world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave, you become a serf to these people. That's so their goal. For That's you. their intention. You're going to think it's the answer to all your problems. Let's just take that chip. After all, General Gehenna said it's, it's, it's not in the Bible, it's not part of the, it's not part of the scriptures. That's not the mark of the beast. So we'll just take it. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah, that's plain, man. So that's what we're heading into, the hour of temptation. Uh, back in uh, Second Ezra 16 and 73, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them also who keep my commandments and precepts, save the Lord power. Yeah, the Most High is the one that guided us to find out that the, that the prophecy in Revelation uh, 13 and 16 is the chip. The Most High guided us. You know, we didn't, we didn't make that stuff up by ourselves. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai guided us and guided us to find out the root word, karagma, find out the definition of that word, that it means something inserted. And the only conclusion we could come up with is the chip. It makes sense. And within the chip, they have, they have uh, the, the uh, UPC code, we know which, which uh, the, first, the first letter or the first number, the middle number and the last number all led up to 666, you know, with the n lines going through it. Exactly so what the exactly, exactly what the prophecy said, that that's the number of a man. And it's not a coincidence, you know, it, it's not a coincidence that, that all these things happen to fall in line with, with uh, what the scriptures are saying. It says, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the book. Yeah, before you do that, I want to get this real quick because mm -hmm. we keep talking about uh, other guys that are teaching you that uh, the uh, mark of the beast is not the chip, that it's Christianity, it's an embargo, it's a tariff, you know, it's Islam, it's anything but, but the actual uh, very chip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a uh, uh, second Timothy, the third chapter, and the 13th verse. And this is, and this basically, this is telling you, the, Paul is basically telling you, you got to stick with these scriptures, and you got to stick with the men that taught you these scriptures uh, the correct way. Second right. uh, Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Right. Like we always mention uh, uh, Nathaniel 7, he's an evil man right now and a seducer, uh, degenerate. Yohanna, he's an evil, he's a super evil man and a seducer. And then that goes for these other guys that we always speak about. Uh, Comfy, he's underground right now because he's been totally exposed, but he's an he's a evil man and a seducer. You know, he seduced the, um, that, the, his followers to the point where they don't even call on the name of the Lord. Yep. Well, Nate does the same thing. Go ahead. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right. One way they're deceiving you is they're telling you that GMS ain't right, and you got people coming up against us. But they're going to get a big, uh, big surprise, man. They're telling you about the chip, going back to the chip, that the uh, mark of the beast 
is uh, Christianity and an embargo. Well, if that's the case, all of us receive the chip, right. if that's the case. Now, where does it say in the, in the scriptures that if you do uh, receive the chip, if you did receive the chip, this is how you get out of it. There's nothing in the scriptures that say that because once you receive the chip, that's it, man. Yeah. You can sign your own uh, death certificate. Go ahead. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So in other words, you got you to gotta continue in what you've learned. And what you've learned from these guys is false. What you learn from the men of the Lord, beginning with Elder Tahar on down, that's the truth. That's why it says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Now, what does it mean And from a child? All of you are children, because Gun. when you go back to uh, John, the third chapter, and starting from the first verse, where the Lord, Yahweh Shai, had that conversation with Nicodemus, um, and he was a doctor of the law. What did he explain to him? He said, you must be born again. And he didn't, and it went over Nicodemus' head. He, basically, he's saying you got to start all over again, just like a child. So all of you that come into this truth, you can't come into this truth with your uh, BA degree and your master's degree, and you're going to apply that to the Bible. You got to start all over like a baby. That's why a lot of you guys fall off, because you bring your baggage with you. Go ahead. It says... And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Yahweh All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High. And it's profitable. Hold up, hold up. All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High, right? So uh, degenerate uh, Yohanna is saying that uh, <laughs> Romans the fifth chapter and the thirteenth verse was given by the inspiration of the Most High, so you can put your penis in your woman's ass, yeah. where, where where her shit comes out. Give me a break. And like um, Elder Tar said at the studio, what does that got to do with the present time we're living in? How does that edify you? You know? Well, he's a degenerate, man. How does that edify he, he, He's a degenerate. You know? If the Lord speak about a time of trouble. This guy's talking about putting his penis in a woman's asshole? This guy's out of his fucking mind, man. And you can't see that that guy is fucking, he's a fucking madman? You can't see that shit? All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for hey, doc. That's why, like I, I, like I always say, we're not here to save black people. We're not here to save the masses of Israel. We're not running a race to see how many Israelites we can save. We're here to push this word out uh, pursuant to what the Most High told us to do. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and that the elect, the elect is going to be marked, all right, with the Most High's mark. Yeah, um, our brother Paul, he said, uh, yeah, I endure all things for the elect's sake. So it's all about. Yeah, he didn't the, say all the Israel. Yeah, yeah, the elect's sake. <laughs> so it's all about the elect with us. Kind well, that's what the mo that's what the scripture. It ain't about us. It's about the scriptures yeah, right. and about the Most High. Yeah. This is we're here to because the elect are going to be saved anyway. But the, the Most High said in Corinthians through the foolishness of preaching, he can just wake them up just like that right. yep. if he wants to. Yep. But the way he set it up was to have certain men go out there and teach teach the word mm -hmm. and that the elect might be triggered uh with that with the mark of the most high right. all scripture is given by inspiration of the most high and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness if, for instruction in what now stick in your penis <laughs> in, in in your woman's uh, shithole What's righteous about that? Nothing righteous about There's that. There's nothing, nothing righteous about that, you know? And then he tells you, well, you know, you can do it, but then if you do it, you'll, you'll risk getting uh, a disease, AIDS. Or, so why should he tell you to do it in the first place? Because he's a degenerate. <laughs> but anyway, after that, let's go back to the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so...
whole verse. Yep. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Okay, um, it says, upon decrement of martial law. Oh, oh, oh we had to go back to uh, Lima, Lima Peru Johnson, all right? Uh, yeah. Um, he said, you got these guys going into the paleo, paleo Hebrew and the Greek. This, what did the brother just, what did the elder just read? Read that again. What, said, what are we supposed to be? That what are we supposed to strive for? There's a scripture that says strive for the masteries, man. Go ahead. That the man of the Most High. That the man, not the angel of the Most High. The man. We are men upon the earth. That the man of the Most High. Go ahead. May be perfect. May be perfect. Go ahead. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. Go ahead. Unto all good works. Unto all good works. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, brother. Yeah, sticking your rod in a woman's asshole is not a good work, man. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Yeah, put but that. Let's, let's get off of this guy, man, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get, I get, yeah. I get sick even thinking about yeah, that yeah, yeah. low-life guys, guys, bastard, yeah. degenerate scum bucket. Anyway, reading on, it says, Upon decrement of martial law, curfews are imposed, accompanied by the indefinite suspension of civil law, civil rights, and habeas corpus, permitting unlawful... Oh, by the way, habeas, habeas corpus means uh, to have the body from the Latin. That's why you got to know, <laughs> check. Your, Latin. You gotta know yeah. your Latin, know your yeah. Greek, and know your Hebrew, all right? That's right. If you want to be perfect in this thing... And have have the body or habeas corpus, corpus means if you get arrested, you have a right to go.